Hey, it's Michael here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the landing pages inside of Aweber. So this will be a full Aweber um, landing page tutorial, and it will help you understand, you know, what can you use these for? Are they um, highly converting? Are they not? Um, and how to convert? How to use them within your website? Um, or other places, right? Um, but before I get started, if this is the first time you're watching me, I do come out with videos on this within digital marketing, um, specifically affiliate marketing, um, how to create a passive income and free up more time for yourself to have more time freedom. Um, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing in my future work, or you can go through and see what's, what I already have. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, I kind of created a couple of examples here, but I don't really use these. So I was kind of messing around with it some time ago and I left them here. Um, but you're going to see a tab here that says landing pages. Right, you wanna, you're going to want to click on that. Now you're going to be brought to this page. Yours might look different because I have already created a couple of examples, but I'll start a new one. So on the left side here, you're going to see kind of like in your campaigns or your drafted messages. And then you can publish them once you're done, right? Or unpublish them. This one is published, this one isn't. And very simply, create a landing page. And here you're going to be given a whole bunch of different templates that Aweber's team has already designed for you. So you don't have to go in there and start from scratch, which is a huge advantage so you can get you know, those leads much faster and you can actually focus on the things you need to within your business, right? Which is becoming more profitable and helping out people in the process. Um, and so here are the landing pages and then you'll see the names, the titles of them. So you can kind of go through them and scroll. And there's a little preview you can check before you decide you want to start with that one. So here it is. All you do is you customize it, make it to your own branding and your own needs. This is not bad at all. This is very nice, you know? And I've been around a lot of different landing page providers and I still use a lot. Things like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Thrive Themes, which I use a lot more of these days. ClickFunnels, I use that a lot as well. Um, you have Lead Pages, Builder, you have a Builder, you have a whole bunch of different ones out there that you could be using. But the cool thing now is that email automation softwares have expanded into this more so, especially lately. Um, and you've seen this already maybe with other autoresponders, but you know, Aweber has become good at this now and they're growing on this, uh, on this side of their platform. So here's kind of a, you know, what you can have yours look like more or less. And so we'll just select one. We'll click the very first one. Click on the middle where it says choose template. And then kind of like when you're making a message that you get the tab, the column on the left side with the elements and on the very right, you get stuff like page properties. And then here we can go ahead and design it by clicking on it. I kind of like with any kind of landing page builder, you go through the steps here and change the image for this one, for example. If we want to add an extra text down here, we drag it over. Kind of like with the message, right? There's nothing you maybe haven't seen, or if this is the first time you're learning about Aweber, um, then you know it might sound new to you. Which, by the way, if you want to test them out, you get a 30-day free trial. Um, plus, I'll give you some awesome bonuses to that. So I'll leave it down below in the description. So make sure you read that very carefully because. Um, I don't always know when who signs up to Aweber under me because I don't get the emails, right? With other softwares, you can, but not with Aweber so much. So, you know, read what it says once you um, opt in through my link. Go ahead and send me a message through the email I have for you. Um, and then that way I can know, or you can message me and be like, hey, I signed up for this. Um, so I can uh, reference that with your invoice number so I know if it's you. and so if I can send your bonuses. Um, and so this is the landing page here. I'm gonna scroll up there. And it's very 
it's it's actually really nice. You know, when I first thought about them coming out with this, when I first heard that they had it in my mind, I thought, oh, that's cool. But then I thought, yeah, I don't know. Um, because, you know, sometimes you don't want to be the all, uh, like this is what happened with ClickFunnels some time ago, is that they were trying to do too much. They were trying to be an email automation software service to, um, and they had so many other features to it that they were trying to do so much and they weren't being the category king, which they're known as, as sales funnels. And so with AWeber, I was like, okay, they're probably trying to do a little bit too much, but no, they still really focus on their email part, which is an amazing part of it. If you want to know more about that, I'll leave a um, post to that. I have a post with it, with all those bonuses too, that you want to know more about. Um, so here you can go ahead and quickly create this. Um, edit the email if you need to, the name, extend it, right? Name here. No, that's not what I would actually have, but it's required or you don't have to have it required. Usually I leave it unchecked because somebody might just put their email in and they might not even have put their name in there. All right, I would actually take the time to do this, but since I'm for the time, I'm just trying to show you this. In the font family, we can change that to color. Okay, and then we can go up here to the text if we need to add anything or subtract anything. Um, images, we can you know bring them over here if we want. All right, it's nothing new. Once you start getting into it and you start working a lot with like the email side, you'll see this kind of translate into the landing page. And then um let's see save and exit and then we can probably like publish that here let's see and then here's an image of how that would look more or less right And then that would pretty much be it. Let me see this here really quick. I wanna see one thing. Okay, yeah, the submission part, design, so not so much as the design. Um, we can send them to a, a, a certain custom URL, um, thank you page. So if it's going to be a thank you, simple thank you page or a bridge page, we can have that here and we can add it, right? We can add that from our actual website or our funnel, wherever that may be, right? Um, wherever you want to send them to post opt-in. You can tag them if you need to. That's something later on. That's a little bit more advanced stuff. You don't have to focus on that right now. Um, and then it's pretty much it. And, and then how do you know, you know, we want to put a name to it, of course. Just really quickly there. And so how do you know they're going to go onto this list, right? Well, you made that landing page underneath this list, right? So that's how you know. So now when you share with them the link, then once they sign up, they'll be automatically put into that actual, that, that list where you made the, auto, the, the landing page from. So it's that simple. It's nothing um, complicated. It's, it's very straightforward. You can integrate anything with your website slash blog, funnels. Um, and the templates are pretty nice. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. You know, you can act, you can uh, integrate it with things like Zapier, um, what, it, what it is you prefer, and start getting this out to people more. Um, because I know when I first got started with this, I just had the sign-up forms. There was no landing page part to it. So I used a lot of sign-up forms from my uh, site when I first started, and then I moved away from that as I started figuring out other things. But that is helpful for you. If you want to create landing pages with Aweber, it's pretty amazing. It's cool, simple, straightforward. Um, and if you want to know more about how to get this, if you don't have Aweber yet, go ahead and look below in the description for um, that link with the bonuses that I'll have in detail with the instructions on how to send me an email once you do. Um, and I'll reference with your invoice number likely. 
and we'll go from there. Okay. Oh, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave me them down below. Thanks.